Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, the NBA Finals is starting and that is the littest time of the basketball year. We got the Dallas Mavericks going against the Boston Celtics and I'm gonna give you my predictions on who I believe gonna win this series and how many games. So hey, for more content like this, make sure to like this video, hopping right into it. So I wanna say first and foremost, the last few NBA Finals have been pretty mediocre, especially the one last year, Nuggets versus Heat. This is one that has a lot of hype to it. Kyrie Irving going back to Boston, and you know Boston hates him. Porzingis facing Dallas, which is less of a storyline, but it still exists. And just, you know, Jason Tatum versus Luka Doncic's discourse is always very interesting. So this should be a fun Finals, and I'm just, it's either gonna go one of two ways, in my opinion. First and foremost, just breaking down the teams and how they got here. Um, the Boston Celtics had a pretty chill road to the NBA Finals. Um, they've gotten a lot of flack for getting an easy road. Teams they played, uh, Jimmy Butler didn't play with the Heat. Um, Donovan Mitchell missed the last two games with the Cavaliers in the second round. And then in the third round, the Conference Finals, Tyrese Halliburton didn't play for the last two games. So it was a pretty chill road. Definitely helped Boston because it allowed them to rest. Chris Dasperzing is able to come back. To be honest, you know, I do say that Boston had a very easy road. And I called it Mickey Mouse, but... If they win a championship, to be honest, no one's really going to think about it. No one's going to care. This is the time to win that championship. So, you know, their road was very chill, very simple. And hey, that's great for them. On the opposite spectrum, the Dallas Mavericks are one of the only teams in NBA history to win three straight series against 51 opponents. And they didn't have home court in any series. So honestly, this would be one of the more impressive championships if Dallas is able to win it. Being the five seed, it is the second lowest seed of all time to win a championship if they're able to. Um, now the teams they played, to be completely honest with you, I fully, I expected Dallas to win. Like the team, the first team they played, the Clippers, I mean, they got, they got no plot. Like they're not going to do nothing. Uh, the second team they played, the Thunder was just too young. They didn't have, they, you could just tell the experience, the moment wasn't there for them. And then the, you know, the Timberwolves, they just got through that grinding, exhausting series. And it just was a bad matchup for Minnesota. So, you know, Dallas getting to this point isn't a surprise, but at the same time, it is in like... I'm not sitting back thinking, oh, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to discredit them for the road that they took to the NBA finals. Now, in my opinion, this can go either one of two ways. Boston Celtics fans, I'm going to look at you. So for the Boston Celtics, they need to win this series in five or six games. And I believe they I mean, they had the firepower to do it. They are a very deep basketball team. A bunch of very capable perimeter defenders. They have stretch players like Chris Daz Brzingis, now Horford. I think Brzingis is going to be very big in this series if he stays healthy. You look at how the team's constructed with all these defenders and Jason Tatum, uh, Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown. Either they're elite or very capable perimeter defenders and that's something you need when you face an off a team like that in dallas also they have a great offense their offense was number one in the nba and their defense was number three in the nba meaning that they are a very well balanced team not a lot of teams in history can say they had a top five offense and a top five defense so that is a very impressive feat they showed their dominance in the postseason. They didn't really dominate the pacers but they got the job done and that's all you can really ask for is getting the job done Boston Celtics have experience being in the NBA Finals, been to many conference finals, so the moment should not be too, be too big for these guys. These guys have been in these moments. These guys have had you know high adversity, high pressure situations. Sometimes they crumble and sometimes they succeed, but they they're used to this moment. So this shouldn't be a oh my gosh the pressure, the stage is too big. They should be able to handle this stage. So why I say boston should win this in five or six is because they are clearly a better basketball team than dallas mavericks the mavericks will put up a fight they may even steal a game in boston to be honest but they are clearly a better basketball team from top to bottom i mean the better player is on dallas but then jason tatum is not worth too worse of a player like he is maybe three overalls worse than luca but then they have a team that is probably four or five overalls better than Dallas. And at the end of the day, you know, when you get late in series it's about your stars, but I think if Jason Tatum has a B plus, A minus series, he doesn't choke the series away, then the Boston Celtics, it should happen in five or six games. Now on the contrary, some Celtics fans, and I don't know if, you know, if you're a Celtics fan watching this, I don't know if you agree, um, they want this to go seven games. The NBA wants this to go seven games for sure. That's That's just definite, right? If the Boston Celtics face the Dallas Mavericks and this goes into a game seven, 
this is a disaster scenario for you if you're Boston. Because in game sevens, what tends to happen, there's going to be one role player for you. There will be one role player. All the other role players are not going to play well. They're going to struggle from the field, especially in the game seven in the finals. They're not going to do well. There's going to be one role player that does really, really well for you. He's going to have like 20 to 29 points. But after that, your stars have to close. Because in game sevens, all that, like all the schemes, I mean, all of it's still relevant, but a lot of that just moves out the way. What matters is your superstars, your star players. Take me home. That's what matters in game seven. I need you to take me home. Take me there. And if you asking me, I'm saying, okay, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, I've seen them in game seven. I've seen them. I've seen them play well in game sevens, but I've also seen some crumbling. I've also seen some bad things in a game six and game seven scenario. So you're telling me in a battle of mentality, because game seven is a lot to do with mentality. You had Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, another thing got Luka and Kyrie. Luka and Kyrie love this. They love this. Luka has the perfect mentality for a game seven. He does not give a F. He'll destroy you. He has the perfect mentality for a game seven. Kyrie Irving, he has a wonderful mentality for a game seven. He hit the game winning. The most significant shot in the last 10 years was with Kyrie Irving on Steph Curry. They want this moment, this this day moment. If the game tied, then that's tough. If the game tied and Luka Kyrie got the ball in their hands, it's over. It's wraps because there's no pressure. And they, they even when there's pressure, they'll still cook you. So I'm not, I don't trust Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown in a close game seven. I don't over Luka and Kyrie. I mean, they can blow people out in game seven like they did in Philly last year, but in a close one, nah. So you don't want it to go seven. If it goes seven, that's a rough trip. Luka about to make some NBA history. 45 point triple double and win the championship. And he going, the narrative is going to be crazy. Final predictions. So for my predictions for the game, I believe the Boston Celtics will win game one. And they'll win it very close. It'll be a close game. I think Dallas wins game two. I think Boston wins in six. I say, I'm going to be very specific. Boston wins game one. Dallas wins games two. Uh, Boston wins game three. Dallas wins game four. Boston wins game five. Boston wins game six. That's how I'm going to say the series is going to go Boston in six. And if the Celtics don't win this thing, I mean, they they probably going to get another crack at it. The East is terrible, but hey, you need to take advantage of your moments, bro. Because hey, I don't think you get a moment better than this. Having this type of stuff, I don't think you get a moment better than that. So definitely take advantage of it. But yeah, my final prediction is the Boston Celtics win this thing in six games. Jason Tatum becomes the finals MVP, and we get to see what that discourse is. And Boston officially has the most championships in NBA history. And it took them freaking 16 years to get back, which is ridiculous that it took so long. But hey. You have your rough periods, but that's my prediction. If you disagree, comment down below. If you agree, comment down below. Uh, Road to 1,000 subscribers. We're so close to being there. And if you like the video, send a super thanks. Definitely be very appreciated. And you subscribe for more videos. Subscribe for more podcasts and shorts. More content coming soon, y'all's way. Hey, and thank you for uh, being on the journey with me to 1,000 subscribers. Definitely appreciate it. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.